uh hi good morning uh today we'll be learning about uh, stress strain graph uh, so on the screen you can see uh, the stress uh, strain graph is actually plotted over there so i'll be explaining this uh, with the help of an animation uh, this is animation how uh, each sections of the stress uh, strain graph is actually behaving so before learning um, the stress uh, strain graph uh, you should have an idea about what is uh, stress and what is strain so uh, let's learn that uh, strain uh, deformation per unit length is called a uh, strain uh, that is uh, small e is represented uh, by strain that equals change in length by original length that means uh, if we are uh, extending or uh, providing a force to a particular object it, it will tend to deform so that change in length that has occurred to that particular object and the standard length of the object gives the strain and uh, what is stress uh, the resistance uh, per unit area of deformation is called stress that is uh, explained as p is equal to capital uh, p uh, by a that is small p is the intensity of stress and capital p is a lot of force acting on the body and A is the cross-sectional area of the body. So this is actually uh, the resistance uh, offered by the body uh, before it is undergoing a deformation or ongoing a deformation. So let's go towards the stress uh, strain graph. Um, here you can see on the uh, y-axis uh, we have the stress and on the x-axis we have strain. Uh, so we can see stage by stage. Uh, this is the elastic regions that means when uh, we exert a uh, force or a load to a particular object uh, the first uh, section is uh, the elastic behavior that means at this uh, point uh, the body can uh, retain its original shape that means even though there is a deformation happening to the body the body can uh, come back or retain to the original shape within this uh, limit so this point is the uh, proportionality limit that means beyond this limit uh, stress and strain will be acting in a non linear way and this is the elastic limit at, uh, at this point uh, from uh, till this point the body can come back actually uh, towards its original shape even though a deformation has happened that means when the load is removed the body come back to its original shape so let's see the next uh, stage uh, this is the yielding uh, stress uh, that means beyond this limit what is happening is that uh, the body even though we remove the load uh, that deformation which has happened uh, will be retained with the body that means the body cannot come back uh, to the original shape it will keep uh, some of its deformation at this point and the third stage this is a uh, strain hardening the body uh, will uh, start to have a strain hardening at uh, this point and finally uh, the ultimate stress uh, ultimate stress is the maximum stress a body can take uh, before its uh, fracture that means uh, the point of fracture uh, starts from the ultimate stress uh, a small amount of necking will be happening from this point and it gradually increases and increases and finally uh, it fractures at, at here at this point from the ultimate stress uh, uh, you can see the stress start to reduce a bit and uh, the strain starts to increase uh, very much so at the end uh, the fracture of the body is, is occurring so I think you got an idea about uh, the stress uh, strain graph for more details you can visit my blog or my youtube channel uh, anyway thanks for visiting uh, and watching